So in three weeks time we're going to see the return of F.A. Jackpot to the ring under Joe Smith Jr. and Maxim Vlasov on the card on ESPN Top Rank. Also on the card we're going to have Jared Anderson, Jared Anderson who's a, a pretty, pretty um, bright prospect, bright American prospect, heavyweight, he's looking good right now, he's fast hands, got decent power. I've, I've made, um, I think I've made a couple of videos or maybe even one video about him in the past. But yeah, back to the Jaguar. Um, Jaguars find Brian Howard. Brian Howard's mainly campaigned as a, a cruiserweight slash light heavyweight. He's been knocked out, I think, about three times, but he's also um, caused a couple of upsets. He knocked out Shondell Winters back in, I think, 2017, 2018. And he also knocked out Carlos Negron. Carlos Negron, who, if you remember, gave Dominic Brazil a bit of trouble before Brazil managed to stop him. So, yeah, um,. I guess we well, um, Brian Howard got his campaign. I think about three times as a heavyweight, and he got knocked out in his last fight against um, Frank Sanchez, the Cuban heavyweight. <laughs> Devastating knockout. The, the 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 sequence that started it was very was frightening. Sneaky little uppercut on the inside that Howard didn't see. As soon as Sanchez saw his man hurt, he jumped right on him and let his hands go. And down went um, down went Howard. But he does get hurt and he gets hurt bad when you catch him right his leg does crazy crazy dances so um a jagba shouldn't be this shouldn't be another ud victory for a jagba that would be very disappointing if he goes distance with this guy bearing in mind you know the guy's been knocked out as a light heavy he's been knocked out as a cruiserweight and he's been knocked out as a heavyweight as well so He's coming off a knockout, knockout defeat to Sanchez, so a Jaguar should shouldn't be having too much trouble with this guy. Um, but you know, like I said, he 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 sprung up um, a couple of upset. He he knocked out Shonda Winters and the ground, so a Jaguar shouldn't be taking him lightly at all. Howard's fighting style is pretty basic. All he relies on is just lateral movement and popping a jab, popping a jab, timing and trying to catch the the opponent with either straight right hands or overhand right he mainly relies on the overhand right but that's literally all, all he does just the one two the one 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 two one one just spinning around spinning around that's it and that's pretty much it so it's not really much else it doesn't really offer much else but that so it's, it's pretty basic a jaguar shouldn't have too much trouble with him i, I see I see a Jaguar knocking him out and possibly early within three rounds, to be honest. But then again, <laughs> I'm usually I'm usually pretty decent at predictions, but when it comes to a Jaguar, my recent um, prediction of a Jaguar fights, yeah, they've not been great. So I might wanna I might wanna take that back. <laughs> I might wanna take that back. Um, so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna do another preview for this fight closer closer to the fight. So. Let's just keep that prediction on ice, but I do see a Jaguar knocking him out. Let's keep the let's keep the round on ice. I don't know if he's gonna do me three rounds, but I do think a Jaguar's gonna get knocked out because the um, yeah this guy's chin is not the greatest, and a Jaguar does have some power on him, and he, he's the bigger man. I think um, Brian Howard is what six two, a Jaguar is six five, six six. So um, yeah, the jabbing contest. I think a Jaguar is gonna win that as well so if a jaguar paces himself and just tries to catch this guy with something he doesn't see he'll get hurt badly so yeah just just pace yourself watch out for the overhand rights and the, the straight rights this guy's trying, trying to time you with and yeah time him yourself when you when he throws when he lets that late well sometimes the jabby he's got the how it does have a decent jab but sometimes it does get a little lazy with it so a jab man i want to time time that um left hand and you know him with something he doesn't see maybe a, perhaps an uppercut back sanchez or or those overhand rights that he loves so much you can get him with, a, with one of one of your own so yeah a jab does have a nice straight straight right hand so i think he can time with that as well so just pace yourself i see him getting a knockout Yep, as usual, comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here. Do your phone the notification bell also so you know what exactly what's going on up here. And yeah, see you guys soon. I'm out.